Welcome back everybody. My name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're going to do a review of a 2000, could be a 21 or a 22, I'm not sure. I think it's a 21. Coachman Murata 35ES. Before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. You look really nice today, Abby. Thanks. Very pretty. Going out to dinner later. My boyfriend, hopefully. <laughs> Do I know? <laughs> Let's get started. So the 2021 Coachman Murata is built on the Ford F53 chassis. They put the 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 motor in that, and they pair that up to the torque flight transmission. This guy can tow 5,000 pounds. Wow. So this is a bath and a half with the bow. I'll show you the bow when we get on the inside. <laughs> and let's just go straight to tire size. These are Goodyear tires, 245-70R, 19.5. You do have side view and backup cameras with this. And this is gel coat fiberglass with uh, decals. They do put some partial paint on the front and the back. Um, full fiberglass roof. You have a power awning with the LED strip, frameless windows throughout, and they do give you a very nice outside entertainment right there cool one thing about coachman they are built with asdel and the sidewall which is a green composite board will not delaminate if water were to get inside the sidewall full pass-through storage for two compartments you got this one all the way through to the other side very wow. nice lot yeah. of storage tons yep and then right here this one's a full pass-through as well good amount of space in there i'd say so and then you got your outside outlet with the GFI circuit. Um, this one is storage, but it doesn't go all the way through because your waste tanks are in the middle there. So that's your black and your gray tanks. Um, this model does have speakers built into the bottom of the awning arms. So there's a Bluetooth radio right inside the door and you can listen to that outside. Cool. Two slide outs in this. You got a bed slide and then there's another slide on the other side. This one's your propane, because it doesn't have any locks. Yep, your propane tank right there. Very nice. For all of your propane needs. Right, Abby? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then this one is storage too. Uh, since this is a bath and a half, it does have the tank for the rear, but it also gives you access to the side of the water heater here. And this is a new water heater. I'll look at this. Looks like a six gallon direct spark ignition Dometic water heater. Cool. All right, slide toppers on each of the slides. That'll keep the debris off the top of your slide outs. They do give you a ladder so you can get up there and service the roof. And it does have a 5,000 pound hitch with a seven pin connector. They actually want to say this is an 8,000 pound hitch, but if you look at the gross combined in the GVW, 5,000 is about all you're going to be able to tow with this. You got your backup camera up top there. Fuel fill is always on the back here. And let's go around to this side. There's your rear dump station for the rear bathroom, and you do have a sewer tank flush with that. Black and gray handles right there. This one is your short power cord, and it is a 50 amp service. You have two air conditioners. You got your furnace right there, and your generator right there. This is the Onan 5500 uh, quiet gas generator. More than enough to run everything in this coach. This is your other slide out right here. Wow, it's and big. It does have the bunk beds there. Yep. Now the B and bow stands for bunk beds, but I'll show you what the OW is. That's your wet bay. You do have a full house filtration system, outdoor shower. You fill your fresh tank there. You got your park cable. Um, this is just a light switch. City water connection, your winterization inlet, and your sewer flush. You do have uh, your where you hook up your sewer tube right there. And over here is your low point drains. And then the water pump is right next to that. And they do give you a winterization kit to make it easy to winterize this coach. And 
There we go. <laughs> Full pass-through storage for the next two. Very nice. Lots of storage in this. This is a tremendous amount of storage. Yeah, I'd say so. I like it. Yeah. We gotta adjust these latches. Last compartment is your hydraulics for the automatic leveling system. Uh, they do put a box around that to protect it from any road debris that might be kicked up. Here's your other side view camera. Abby, that's the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go take a look at the outside. All right, let's go. All right, Abby, come on in. It's cold out there. We're going to show them how you can get to the bathroom, the refrigerator, and the master bedroom with the slide out closed. It's actually pretty wide open. Yeah, I can't believe the slides are in. Access to the fridge. Now the, the master bed does fold over, so Bathroom. you're really not going to be able to sleep in that master bed with the slide out closed unless you want to sleep kind of on a diagonal. All right, let's get it opened up. All right. All right, let's start at the front and we'll work our way back. So brand new uh, Ford chassis for 2021 model year. This does have a redesigned dash with auto headlights, um, cruise control and everything is going to be on the steering wheel. You have your automatic leveling right over here. That's your uh, LCI pad for the hydraulic leveling. New look for this cab. Now they do have a really big infotainment center in the center with a big screen. Now that's gonna be your turn signal and backup camera. It doesn't as know. well as your radio. Now that doesn't come off. HVAC and everything's right there in the middle. I know what I like about this coach, no carpet whatsoever. You do have a nice workstation in the front here, so you can just pull that out and forward. You got some power hookups right there. Any one type of way on the computer, you got space to do that. Both of the front seats swivel. They're going to become part of the living space. Nice. And you got a really nice drop down bunk up here. Oh, cool. That'll fit two adults. That's great. And tons of storage. You got it. All right, everybody, here's what I want to ask you for some help. My channel is about bringing you the product and then bringing your feedback back to the manufacturers. So leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. All right, really like their dinette. Really nice light fixtures here. This does go down to a sleeper. And you do have drawers for storage underneath the both of those. So if you get some blankets and pillows or food or whatever you want to put in there, this is a bunk model, so it's nice to have all that extra storage. Cute little kitchen. It's not huge, but you do have some prep space, and they are deep countertops. I really like this farm sink. Nice. Pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. With pull-out sprayer faucet. One single basin, stainless steel. Um, you got your pot and pan drawer. This one does give you an oven. That's new. They used to have a convection microwave oven. But they've switched over. And I have a feeling that has to do with all of the supply issues that they're having in the RV industry. Uh, but you do have a nice three burner cooktop, and that is lit. Cool. Storage up there, all across the top. Really nice uh, residential refrigerator and microwave. They're not blue, Abby. They're just colored, covered by a blue. I wish they were. Protects them. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> all of your. Uh, 110 breakers and 12 volt fuses are right there below the refrigerator. And this does have a fireplace with the TV above it. But my favorite, power reclining heated massaging theater seats. That's the way to go, man. This is. They are really nice. Um, I really like those. That's a great feature. A couple lights over here for reading. And I really like the decorative doors that they're doing with the glass inlay. That's nice. Uh, classy, glassy. You got it. So... TV fireplace with uh, most of your controls are going to be up here in this compartment, although you can store stuff up there as well. This does have auto gen start, which is a nice feature. Low voltage or high temperature can either kick the gen on to charge the batteries or kick the gen on to run the air conditioner. You do have a nice half bathroom right here. And fans on, I'm going to have to shut that off. Pedal flush toilet. And that is a porcelain bowl. Very nice. Oops. Let me shut that fan off. I don't know how long that's been running. And then you get to the bow. Do you remember the bow? Mm-hmm. Bunk office wardrobe. So right now it's set up to be bunk beds. The cushions are both on the bottom. You can lay the cushions out. These are six foot and three foot wide. Mm -hmm. Really big bunk beds. You want to turn it into a wardrobe? Very easy. You got your hanging rod right there. 
can be a wardrobe just like this. Or if you want that office space, flip this up. Oops, I missed my pin hole there. There you go. Flip it up. You have a folding chair that's on a magnet right here. You just pop that off, stick that in the office, and here you go. You sit right here. You got USB charging ports here. And I'm 5'8", and I got plenty of headroom in here. So if you're a larger person and you're sitting down, you're not going to have any problem. You got lights in here. You got, um, this is for TVs if you want to put the TVs in for the bunk beds plus power port. But you can plug your laptop in, plug your phone in to charge it. Very nice little workstation here. Awesome. With the barn door on it, the little sliding barn door. It's very nice. Privacy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Pocket door here, pocket door there. We like pocket, pocket door. doors. Uh, you got a king bed here. Nice thing about this bed is if you want to sit down, put your shoes on, lift the bed up, put your shoes on. You got two drawers under here, two drawers right here, even some secret storage behind the TV right there. We recommend liquor cabinet. Yeah. Keep away from, Keep the, away kids. from the kids. And the, you got a nice, nice storage here, folding laundry. Yeah. Because this can have a stackable washer dryer in it right now. Nice. There. Or you can keep it as a wardrobe. Put another hanging bar in there. Shelves, whatever you want. Lots of storage. And I love have a it. little compartment up here too. I love the Coachman Marat. I think it's a nice coach. Yeah. Abby used to work for Coachman. Do you have a bias towards them? Uh, nice storage up here. One thing Coachman does that nobody else is doing is a CPAP station above the bed. There's an outlet up in there that is dedicated for a CPAP machine. And that will run off the inverter. You do have two 12 volt USB ports on either side of the bed on the nightstands, and then there's one 10 outlets on either side of the bed base. I see them. Cool. All right, two air conditioners, I said. Um, then you get to your rear bath, which has another pocket door. Abby, look at this shower. Okay. Yeah, fit both of us in there. I think there could be some good clean fun. It's huge. <laughs> That's a party shower, huh? Mm -hmm. That, I, like here, I want to step in there because this is really going to tell a lot of people. I, I got a request from a, a viewer to step in the shower. I can go over here. I can go over here. There is so much space. Oh my. Abby, <laughs> Abby you can't come in here with me. <laughs> nice bathroom. Um, you got tons of storage. That's your linen closet. Very good amount of storage there. And then you even have storage under the vanity over here. Huge, huge mirror. And some drawers right there. And they even give you a little bit of storage up here. Cool. Very cool. Yep. I Dang love it. the Coachman Murata. Not a better bang for your buck coach out there. So let's give them a once through and we'll wrap this up. All right, everyone. Check out the Coachman Murata. Brought to you by the RV Concierge. All right, everybody, that is the 2021 Coachman Murata 35ES. If you would like to know more, if you have any questions, you can text, call, or email me. This unit is still available. My information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe.